first started the film festival, the arts and film was not something that Asian parents would support. So we always saw that. And so we would have all these filmmakers come from all across Canada and the United States, and I always ask them the question, what did you study in school? And we had doctors, we had lawyers, we had engineers, we had investment bankers, people who were on Wall Street who decided that they had this passion to tell a story and they had to leave their you know, regular jobs because they just had this need to do art. Much like Japanese anime. Oh! In the last five, five to ten years, when I ask the same questions, people are in film studies, they're in drama, so there's really a shift that the arts is important and that people are choosing it as a program of study. Back in 2005, I made a film called What Are You Anyways? And I think that sort of was, was for me the starting point of, of realizing that, you know, there is this larger community and, and then that sense of camaraderie amongst the filmmakers. Hi, my name is Jeff Chuba Stearns and I'm here representing the Vancouver Asian Film Festival. Media power is the most powerful tool to change attitudes, to change ideology, and to share. To me, what these festivals mean is community, and it's a really strong sense of community. Hi, I'm Julie Kwan, and I am happy to be supporting the Vancouver Asian Film Festival. A lot of people, when they first find out about the festival, they assume, because the word Asian is in it, that it's only for East Asian people, yellow people. But when they attend the festival, they realize that a lot of the films happen to be in English. And, and to many people, that is a really pleasant and awesome surprise. We really have a, a much more international identity and a much more amorphic identity, if you like. Scene one, Apple, take one.